Uh, last week, when Mavis spoke to uh, Dr. Rasiana Langi, the deputy head school uh, de deputy head rather of um, um, the School uh, of Learning, Teaching, and Qualities uh, of Pacific Arts Communication and education at the University of the South Pacific. Uh, she basically mentioned uh, how during this uh, particular time uh, and shared some of her ideas as to how kids can uh, engage in, in education uh, and how parents can be involved. Now this morning she speaks to Mavis again, uh, but this time around um, addressing teachers and just giving them some ideas on how um, they can be helping kids um, at home from their homes, okay? So they don't need to physically go to, uh, you know, children's homes or, their, or their, um, their class, their students' homes, but they can do it from the comfort of their homes, okay? We'll find out more uh, with Mavis right now, speaking to Dr. Rosiana Langi. Good morning, Dr. Rossi. It's great to have, thank you very much, Taitusi. Um, good morning, Dr. Rossi. It's great to have you on Breakfast at Fiji One again this morning. Good morning, Bulvinaka Mavis and Yandra Vinaka and Bulvinaka Taitusi. And uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's good uh, to, to get me invited to be able to share um, uh, this morning uh, with you and uh, especially to our teachers who may be viewing or listening in. Uh, today. Yes, yes, certainly is Dr. Rossi. Now, um, Dr. Rossi is a deputy head of School of Learning and Teaching and Quality uh, under the School of Pacific uh, Arts, Communication and Education um, here at USP. Dr. Rossi, the last time we spoke, we spoke about, um, or you actually um, gave ideas on how to make learning fun at home with the children, especially with the uh, the long time, <laughs> um, you know, that they have at home. And um, other than just taking pen and paper and going straight on, you know, make learning a tad bit more fun for kids who are at home. Who uh, you and I both know at this point, they're like, hands down, they're like, you know, bored. <laughs> um, but I guess uh, the reason why we're speaking um, again today, Dr. Ross, is just basically for you to tell us a little bit more about um, your ideas of, of how teachers uh, can be brought onto the scene very much to play a, a greater, a role into making um, learning fun for kids? Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mavis. Yes. Uh, um, I think um, now we have to, uh, as everyone is saying, this is the new norm. Um, we'll have to try and make um, teaching and learning very engaging and innovative and creative despite the lockdown. So, um, so from my perspective, um, uh, as I said, uh, the last time we spoke was, uh, you know, th this, I find the, the lockdown um, uh, as something good. It's a blessing in disguise. Uh, uh, and, and I'm sure the teachers will also agree with me. Uh, so, you know, we, 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 there are a couple of things that we are saving when we are on lockdown. Uh, for example, our bus fare, we're not traveling, uh, as well as our um, time for traveling. So we have more time to be able to prepare uh, for our lessons and our classes, eh? especially now that uh, um, teachers are teaching virtually or are teaching remotely or are teaching online. So um, for me, the first thing that I think uh, uh, teachers like students um, uh, will have to invest on, on having a pocket Wi-Fi. Uh, because, you know, teaching now will no longer be done in the classroom, but they will have to teach virtually in order to be able to, um, uh, sorry, in order to, to be in contact with their, with their students. Um, so invest on, on a pocket Wi-Fi. Um, and maybe schools uh, that don't have internet connection, they might want to um, uh, invest on uh, satellite dishes. Uh, I know in Tuvalu, for example, um, all the remote schools, all the schools uh, uh, have um, a, a satellite dish purchased by the by the government. And remote islands uh, from the main island. Uh, so these uh, the, and there are schools in those islands. So so that's what the government did. So you know, first we need to have the equipment to be able to teach uh, uh, virtually. So um, get, get ourselves um, internet through most probably public Wi-Fi. And um, then as students do, you know, there, there is a school timetable. 
teachers have their timetable and you know just as a normal school uh, day you know get yourselves ready have your specific uh, area in the house uh, uh, as your as your classroom and get yourself started uh, i know it's going to be very hard because you know people have been staying home for a long time but i think it's 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 good if we have a timetable to follow it motivates us to stay on schedule at the same time be able to connect uh, with our students and not only that but time to be able to prepare uh, and uh, and uh, uh, get ourselves set up before uh, we teach uh, our our students now uh, most of the time when we are teaching you know practically face to face we uh, teachers tend to um, to talk a lot you know to be uh, the learning uh, seems to be more teacher centered uh, i think now um, uh, we have to uh, be more open to listening to our students than than uh, than dictating or saying uh, what needs to be done because you know um, now it's uh, things are different and uh, it, it'll be good that we listen to our students and find out how they are doing things and how they think things can be done better you know because um, because they are in the receiving end and they have also better ways of uh, of uh, learning um, they have their own ways of learning which they can um uh inform their teachers and the teacher can um tailor uh and uh, and revise their their teaching strategies and pedagogies by listening to to the students um also um our teachers need to have uh, um, uh, the context of their students so that they can uh, contact them and find out how they're doing as well as monitor uh, what they're doing uh, i i understand that uh, there are some schools who have sent out um, worksheets for, for, their, for their students. Um, however, it's also important that we monitor how they're doing uh, with their worksheets instead of just sending it out to them and not contacting them. Uh, so that's why it's important for teachers to have their, their students' um, uh, context. More importantly, the teacher's psychology is also important, eh? the psychology of the teacher. So, um, uh, as I said, this is a new norm. This is something new. Uh, 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 a lot of us ha have been used to uh, uh, teaching face to face. Now we have to re to to resort to other uh, other measures. So it's important for teachers to to read widely, you know, so that they can uh, still be informed of you know how can they improve or. Um, uh, use better teaching strategies and pedagogies to be able to still teach the students uh, effectively. Uh, so, you know, exercise, ensuring you have, uh, you, you, you have um, a, a good diet, uh, sleeping um, at the, at the, at the uh, about, you know, the, the normal time instead of, you know, staying up very late because the psychology of the teacher is very important too. Unless and until the teacher is fit and psychologically ready uh, to teach remotely or virtually, you know, teaching won't be effective. So, so uh, it's important that teachers continue to, to um, develop themselves professionally, uh, team teach, you know, um, uh, network with the other teachers who teach the same subject um, and, uh, and assist each other um, in how they can you know, teach uh, students. Uh, I know of, um, of uh, some of my colleagues who have uh, created a, a Facebook page um, and it's getting, it's very effective because a lot of uh, uh, teachers and uh, faith-based organizations are sharing this page. The name of the page is um, The Backup, a Facebook page, The Backup. And we have uh, secondary school teachers from, you know, the different subjects teaching um, uh, daily and uploading uh, their lessons uh, uh, on the page. Um, also, uh, uh, the other um, uh, resource that's online that's free that teachers and schools can use is, uh, uh, is uh, something called um, Google Classroom. And with Google Classroom, the teachers can create their virtual classroom using that, uh, that uh, app. And um, 
and it's it's a very good way of um, of uh, contacting students too and monitoring uh, um, uh, students' work. And uh, and uh, if you know teachers continue to read, they'll be able to to find that there are resources out there that uh, will help them be able to make um, learning and teaching interactive, creative, and also engaging. Awesome. Thank you very much, Dr. Rossi. I'd like to talk to you more, but unfortunately we've run out of time, but um, thank you very much for these great ideas. And of course, I know that in time we'll continue to, uh, you know, touch base with you on um, just, you know, the new norm and uh, where we're going at the moment. But uh, thank you very much. You have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you very much, Mavis. And you take care and have a good one too. You too. Yeah. Nice. Olavinaka, uh, Dr. Rosiana Langi, um, a very good morning to you. Welcome to Breakfast at Fiji Farm. Yandravinaka, Olavinaka, and uh, greetings again, uh, Mavis. Uh, it's good to be back with you this morning. Yeah, it's good. Um, great talking to you. I know we had a little Talno session before um, this morning, but it's just quite interesting. I know that uh, you and I have been talking about, uh, you know, just our times. Um, not at its best at this time, and a, a big disadvantage to our children who are away from school, away from learning. Um, but then I'm thankful to the Ministry of Education that have started to, um, uh, you know, put in a lot more in terms of learning through the Learning Hub um, for our kids at home. And I'm sure they're enjoying the holiday, but I think by now they'd be a little bit more bored, a little bored. Eh? <laughs> they probably had done all the activities yes. there is to do at home. Uh, but Dr. Rosian, I just wanted to talk to you this morning. I know you have um, some tips uh, for us uh, this morning on, um, you know, how to better education at home for our kids. Ah, uh, thanks, uh, Mavis. Yes, um, um, I have a son who's um, who goes to high school, and I'm very worried as well because they have their own uh, programs that they like to go to. Um, instead of studying, they like to go um, uh, fishing or go planting. But um, but uh, yes, but uh, like you said, you know, uh, some of our children might think this is a holiday time. But uh, there, there are ways in which um, um, we parents can help our children um, make use, make good use of the the lockdown. And um, I find it. Uh, um, I, I mean, I'm enjoying the lockdown because I have a lot of time to, to not only work um, alone in my own space, um, at the same time connect with other people virtually um, and do other things to help uh, uh, grow professionally. Uh, so some of, the, the, some of the things that, um, that I think uh, that, um, that can assist and make learning uh, from home uh, fun and, uh, and effective um, um, I know uh, uh, as parents, we should consider every day as a school day, you know, Monday to Friday as a school day. Um, uh, children have their own school timetable, mm -hmm. and uh, that is where I think uh, parents can start from. Um, I know it's hard because um, they are home, but I think the timetable should be able to help guide parents on what children should be doing at, a, at what time. Uh, so, um, in saying that, um, get our children uh, uh, follow the same timetable. The time that they wake up, um, have the shower, get the breakfast prepared, lunch prepared, and then um, also have a space in our homes uh, designated for classroom. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's like like the learning hub. It's their learning space. And in that space, we provide them the resources that they need. If they need a laptop or they need a tablet or they need um, textbooks, uh, books and pens, you know, a designated area, especially for their classroom. But not just limited there. There may be um, uh, times in the timetable that, you know, indicates that they need to have physical education or music, right? And so parents and older siblings can improvise and create an activity during those times so that students, uh, children can also enjoy uh, those, uh, those, um, those activities. Mm. Um, it's also very important that parents 
um, have their children's uh, teachers uh, contact uh, and also head teachers contact in case parents are not able to assist their children with certain topics, they can always uh, contact um, their, their, their teachers. Um, uh, also, you know, there are older siblings who may uh, also be studying and they can be um, uh, designated or um, given uh, the responsibility to assist their younger, younger siblings. Mm -hmm. um, more so, like you said, the Learning Hub, there are also resources available online that, um, that parents can access to help them teach their children. Uh, I know there are some faith-based and, um, and uh, group uh, Facebook pages that, uh, that have teachers teaching certain topics and subjects. And these are some extra resources that, um, that parents uh, can use to assist uh, uh, their children uh, in their learning. Um, having said that, you know, um, uh, earlier on, I said how parents can use their compound, even their homes, as the, as the school and can have their children have excursions and field trips around their home and compound so that, you know, they can get out of the house and that they can do things together. And I find the lockdown very interesting because parents get to spend a lot of time with their children. With me, my son is in Nebuka, so I make uh, use of um, Messenger uh, and, uh, and Zoom to, to be able to check uh, what he's doing. And I'm very fortunate that I also have a younger sister who's a teacher who gets to supervise him in his, uh, his work. But it's, it's a hard time um, trying to get kids to be focused. But I think if we parents are firm and you know, create that atmosphere of learning in our class, in our home, sorry, and in our compounds, then the uh, kids will be um, motivated and uh, bond with their new classroom uh, <laughs> environment. Yes, I um, guess, you know, Dr. Rossi, it uh, would be for a lot of us parents, it'd be quite challenging indeed because their attention span of our children, especially the younger ones, are not as, you know, um, long as, as the older ones. Uh, but I guess it's a great idea that you mentioned that, you know, they have their little learning space and I know of a story, I think, last year when um, um, COVID actually hit in 2020 um, and when they had to stay away from uh, school for a bit, where when they uh, did have their classes, their Zoom classes, especially these are the ones at private schools in Nadi, they actually dressed up like in their uniform for the day and <laughs> and you did the same things except they didn't leave the house, but they just dressed up in the uniforms, had their bags packed. It was it was a fun activity. At the same time, it was, um, like you said, you know, it's the new norm. Eh? This is where we're going to now. Uh, but for parents that will be watching this morning, Dr. Rossi, on Breakfast at Fiji, I'm just an advice from you. Um, furthermore, you know, on, on this uh, new new norm that we're going into and the ways in which they can actually be of help to our children. Um, well, um, for us, I think we have to see it in a positive way uh, because having our kids um, at home and learning from home gives us parents more time to spend with them yeah. um, as well as um, uh, supervising how they are progressing in their learning. And uh, at, at the same time, we'll be able to identify the learning gaps. Uh, and when, when that happens, we will then be able to find out ways in which we can assist our children. Um, not only, you know, depending on, on the teachers to do this, but there are other uh, resources that are available that, um, that we can use. You know, the saying that goes that, you know, it takes uh, a vanua to, to raise a child. And I guess this is the time for it that everyone has to put in and assist our children um, to, to learn and make you know, learning through lockdown very effective and enjoyable. Mm. Dr. Rossi, it was wonderful talking to you this morning. Thank you very much. And we look forward to more from you. 
Thank you very much, Mavis. And you have a good one. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Be kind to one another and uh, assist each other uh, during this time of lockdown. Thank you, Dr. Rossi.